हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस इन टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई टू टेलिंग यू द डिफरेंस बिटवीन पेट्रोल एंड डीजल इंजन नाउ द फर्स्ट डिफरेंस इज इन द साइकिल ऑपरेटिंग साइकिल फॉर पेट्रोल इंजन इट इज ऑटो साइकिल and for diesel engine it is dual cycle if you have not watched my auto cycle and diesel cycle videos i have created separate videos you can click on the top right corner i appearing on your screen right now to watch auto cycle diesel cycle dual cycle videos and uh, the compression ratio it is 6 to 12 in petrol engine while it is 16 to 24 in diesel engine now compression ratio it is limited it is lower in auto cycle because if you keep compression ratio higher then what happens pre ignition and knocking occurs now pre ignition and knocking are undesirable phenomena and uh, in future i me i would be explaining you pre ignition and knocking in much detail but i hope you know basic fundamentals of ice engine that pre ignition and knocking they are undesirable and so compression ratio is kept lower because if the high compression ratio is used then more inlet temperature and uh, inlet pressure it reaches so tendency to increase knocking and tendency to increase the pre ignition whereas in diesel cycle the pressure ratio is kept higher and uh, it cannot be uh, be more than 24 because if compression ratio is increased much more than 24 then what happens these are the experimental data all right so If the compression ratio increases more than 24, then what happens? The the stresses, the pressure, it increases so much that it will apply it will apply so much stress on the walls that the cylinder can burst. So usually it is kept around 17 to 18, but not more than 24 in any circumstances. Next difference is the thermal efficiency. thermal efficiency is less for auto cycle and it is more for diesel cycle i have compared uh, auto cycle diesel cycle and pet and uh, dual cycle in much detail that at maximum pressure and maximum temperature at uh, same amount of heat rejection etc so that video you can click but clicking on the top right corner i appearing on your screen right now now thermal efficiency it is less for petrol engine it is more for diesel engine and i have covered this point in much more detail around 15 minutes in that separate video that i will that you have that i have already told you to watch top right corner i appearing on your screen right now so next point is power to weight ratio a power to weight ratio it is more for petrol engine less for diesel engine because the weight it is much more of diesel engine diesel engine is bulkier diesel engine is bulkier it has more weight because it has to because it has to employ higher pressure ratios so the thickness of the material the strength of the material the overall dimensions they increase for diesel engine so weight it increases for diesel engine whereas weight is less for petrol engine because of the lower pressure ratio etc so for a same power output this value determines the power to weight ratio suppose power is 4 units and weight is 6 units for petrol engine and same power and weight is more for diesel engine 10 so you know that 4 by 6 and 4 by 10 so what which is less this is less for by 10 so power to weight ratio is less for diesel engine and it is more for petrol engine i hope it is clear next comes the flywheel flywheel it is lighter for petrol engine and it is heavy for diesel engine because flywheel it has to take care of the fluctuations and uh, in uh, 
petrol engine because there are four strokes and uh, the power obtained it is around uh, less the power is less the power obtained is less don't confuse with power to weight ratio the power obtained in petrol engine it is somewhat less so flywheel is used lighter whereas the amount of power that is obtained by a diesel engine it is quite high so heavy flywheel is employed other point other difference can be that in petrol engine we use we use spark plugs that means spark ignition and in diesel engine we use compression ignition that is we compress the air and we use injectors to inject the diesel inside the cylinder so this is another difference and in petrol engine we take the air plus petrol mixture using a carburetor we inlet this complete mixture in the cylinder whereas in diesel engine we only inlet the we only intake the air and then compress it to increase the temperature then we inject the diesel so this is another difference now other difference can be noise and vibration it is less and uh, in uh, diesel engine it is more because less why less because the power obtained and uh, the bulkiness the moving parts they are less for petrol engine and similarly it is much more for diesel engine other difference can be that in combustion process there is homogeneous mixture in petrol engine it is homogeneous mixture of air and petrol whereas in homogeneous mixture and whereas in diesel engine it is heterogeneous mixture of air plus diesel heterogeneous okay let me take it homogeneous mixture petrol All right. Now, next point is the RPM, that is the engine speed. It is more in petrol engine, and it is less in diesel engine. The cost, the initial cost, it is less in petrol engine. It is more in diesel engine. Whereas maintaining cost, it is also less in petrol engine, more in diesel engine. Whereas the running cost. that means the amount of fuel consumed consumed that decides the running cost and we know that petrol is uh, costlier so the running cost is more in petrol engine and it is less in diesel engine now governing it is quant quantity control in petrol engine and it is quality control in diesel engine that means in governing what we decide the amount of air plus petrol intake through the carburetor that is decided by the governing mechanism so total quantity whereas quality control means because in diesel engine only air is taken inlet only air is taken inlet then it is compressed to increase the temperature then after that in, by injector we inject the diesel so the quality of the air intake that is the governing system i hope all these points are clear and do check the description ones for all of my social media links and more of the video links and please subscribe my channel by pressing the red subscribe button here please press the like button and do share this video with your friends on social media you can watch other videos of anyone on screen right now and till next time take care bye, -bye.